the A to Z No Z of animal mysteries. Acacia trees can communicate with one another through chemical signals in the soil. Yeah, I know it's not an animal, but the giraffes that eat the leaves are. Once a giraffe starts eating the leaves, the trees release chemicals into the soil, which tell trees nearby to produce a toxic taste. <laughs> so the giraffes have to travel further to find their leaves. B is for babies. Squirrels will adopt the babies of other squirrels that have been abandoned. Hmm. C, less cute, cockroaches. Uh. So, why do they die on their backs? Well, they don't die on their backs. Not in the wild anyway. It's the pesticides that we use that paralyse them and make them flip onto their backs when they die. So, it's only the ones we see around us that die on their backs. D. So why do birds sing at dawn? Well, some scientists say it's because there's less noise at that time of day and also the air is a lot thinner so sound can travel further. Can travel further. Travel further. E. Elephants can't jump. No, you haven't seen it before. Stop lying to yourself. Actually, it's true for most big, heavy animals like rhinos, but also elephants have two knees and two elbows. Yeah, you try jumping on your elbows. It's not easy. F for flamingos. Flamingos aren't naturally pink. No. They just eat lots of pink shrimp, which colours their feathers. G is for gas. Cows produce as much as 200 litres of methane in their farts a day. That's the same as this container. But cockroaches on the whole produce more gas than cows, producing up to 35 grams of methane in their farts per day. And there are a lot of cockroaches around. Well, the ones that aren't on their backs anyway. H for hydration. Ever wondered how whales and dolphins and other sea creatures drink? Because they can't drink the sea, right? Well, turns out they get a lot of their water from eating squid and other animals. And it's even easier for seals, who can eat snow when they're hauled up onto land. Never eat yellow snow! I is for injection. Male bedbugs reproduce by piercing the belly of the female bedbug. Gross. <laughs> J is for jungle. Did you know all chickens actually came from the jungle? What? Yeah, I know. Can't really imagine them out running a tiger, you know? The first domestic chickens actually descended from jungle fowl from jungles 8,000 years ago. K is for karaoke. Now, you might not want to enter into a karaoke competition with a fly because, awkward, they can only hum in the note F. Yeah, you might want to give Adele a call. Hello. Hello. Adele? L is for lemurs. Lemurs, specifically ring-tailed lemurs, live in groups and the smelliest one is always the leader. M is for mole rat, specifically the naked mole rat. These sassy little creatures are amazing in that they live up to 30 years, which is 10 times longer than any other mammal of their size. And also, they're resistant to cancer and diabetes, which we're trying to get rid of now. N is for nap. Did you know ants don't really sleep? They just power nap a couple of hundred times a day for about a minute at a time. <laughs> On the other hand, there's the koala, who sleeps about 22 hours per day. Lazy! <laughs> o is for octopus. An octopus has eight legs. Yeah, well, we already knew that. But did you know that each leg has a big ball of nerves, which are the equivalent of a brain? So, those brains, plus the brain in their heads, makes... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. nine brains. P is for penguins. So why are penguins that colour? Black on their sides and white on their bellies. Well, it's probably to prevent their predators from seeing them when they're swimming. So imagine a penguin is swimming on its belly in the sea and you're a shark looking up. Doesn't the penguin just look like a cloud or a bit of ice? Bruh, bruh, bruh. Oh no, it's just gay. It's just gay. But then, imagine you're looking down from the sky. The penguin just blends into the dark depths of the ocean. Great job, penguin! Q is for quokka. Okay, there's not really a fact here. They're just so cute. Here's a picture. R is for rats. Rats can survive being flushed down the toilet. Did you know they can tread water for three days? That's enough time to find something sludgy to climb onto. Ugh. S is for skin. Did you know polar bear skin is actually black? Their fur 
isn't even white, it's just transparent. It just appears white because it reflects the light. Lies, it's all lies. T, turtles can breathe out of their bums. And yeah, it's breathing, not farting. <sighs> they have this thing called a cloaca, which they use to pee, poo, mate, and breathe. U is for urine. Lobsters squirt urine in each other's faces when they fight because their bladders are actually in their heads. I mean, which is gross enough. Imagine having your bladder that close to your mouth. Ugh. V is for vervet monkeys. Did you know that vervet monkeys have specific calls for specific types of predators? One is for snake, so their mates know to go up into the trees. Another one is for vultures, so they know to stay low on the ground. Hey, hey, guys, stay low, stay low, stay low. W, did you know wombat poo is cube-shaped? Why, though? Well, so it doesn't roll away, obviously. I like to keep my poo close by. Wombats use it to mark their territory, so other wombats know where they are. X is for x-ray fish. Here you go. Y is for yak. Did you know yak's milk is pink, like milkshake? But it's actually the mother's blood mixed in with it. Zed, gotta be zebra in it. Well, actually, what we've got for you is a cross between a zebra and a horse. It's called a zorse. And we've also got a zonkey, but we'll let you figure that one out for yourself. Oh. <laughs> it's so weird not using my hands. I know where they are. Oh, that's actually what it says. <laughs> <laughs> that is definitely blooper. <laughs>